This Coventry Evening Telegraph Cup semi-final between Copswood Coventry and AFC Coventry Rangers is about to start at uh, Copswood's ground. Connell Farrell, the uh, Rangers striker, to start the game for us. Referee just waiting for somebody to sort himself out. Right, I think it's the uh, the assistant who wasn't quite ready, but uh, finally I think he is. And here we go. Long ball played straight away by the uh, Midland League side, straight through to goalkeeper PSC. Copswood, they've got unusual numbers on their backs. The ball goes to the far post and uh, not a bad little... Deep on the left-hand side for the Midland side, but uh, that's headed well wide. Ball played up the left-hand side for the, the Rangers, and the ball is broken to Farrell. Slips it to the left-hand side. Across comes the ball. It's cleared, and uh, Cops would manage to bring the ball out. Decent little break. Striker does very, very well. Curran working hard. And that's going to be a free kick by Whitelaw. Chance for Fagbemi to maybe get onto it. It comes out to Farrell, and his left foot shot hits the side netting. In fact, it's been deflected wide, and it's a corner on the left hand side. So, left side corner then for Coventry Rangers. In the uh, darkness of that left corner flag. Dangerously in near post. There's a chance that goalkeeper's done well twice on that occasion. Wow. The header and then the shot. Now then the... Uh, Coventry Alliance side break. I'm not sure who the players are actually because the numbers are a little bit uh, confusing. Breaks for the uh, Alliance side. Back they go to left back. Nice one too. Cross is a very nasty one but it's dropped over the bar. It's the right side cross for Rangers. I think the little pass, has it gone too hard? No, the goalkeeper's out. And slid at uh, Fagbemi's feet and uh, down went the striker. Copswood now. Knocking the ball around. And still it stays in. And there's a free kick. It is to Rangers have played their free kick short. Flicked on nicely, hooked into the air by Chesters. Copswood retake possession. And they've given it away. And there goes Farrell on the left hand side. He'll hit the shot hard and low. And what a fabulous goal! 1 0 to Coventry Rangers. Low left foot, right corner, 1 0. by Chesters. Alexander goes forward, plays it out to the left-hand side and kept in. And here come Rangers again. Fag Bemi hits it hard and that's gone in. The goalkeeper couldn't hold it and it's 2-0. Left side throw for Copswood. Back they go. Ball lobbed forward. Back header by Chesters. There's a hook shot from the number 15. Not sure who he is. And it's gone well wide of the goal. Cuts to hit this very deep right side free kick for Rangers. 
decent trajectory, headed well wide. Free kick left side for the Alliance team and uh, number 10 to take it. Overcomes the ball, it's well headed away by Whitelaw on that occasion. There's a chance now for Copswood towards the byline. Orange shirts buzzing around the striker. And they've managed to get it away. It's by Cuts. Picked up by Copswood as they again move forward to try and get back into the game. Nice play by the striker. It's got past. Chester's Chester's isn't going to get back. Still a chance to shoot, but it's gone over the bar. The kick for Copswood. Short to the striker. Survives. Doesn't survive the first challenge. And uh, referee wants a word with one of the Rangers defenders, but uh, didn't like the call. Free kick then to Copswood. This will be swung in left footed. There's a three man wall from Rangers. Allen doing a bit of bellowing in goal. Overcomes the ball. It's the centre half going up for it again. The ball strikes, cuts. Did it? Apparently not. So now, certainly getting back into the game. Oh, that's a really good tackle by Chesters. And he gets it away a second time. Long clearance by Turnbull. And that's going to be a free kick. I think uh, Farrell was taken out. Was it Farrell? No, I don't think it was Farrell. Another dangerous free kick. We've uh, spent a little bit of a time <laughs> sorting this one out. Whitelaw having a little bit of a telling off. It's going to be a shot. That's blocked very well, I think, by Alexander in the wall there. Ball comes back in, nodded away by Cuts. And off goes Fagbemi on that left-hand side. Good ball inside, actually. The ball goes to the left and Farrell chases it. Can't keep possession. And the ball is hammered away by Copswood. And the striker does well, but the ball is cleared, but hits a defender. And that ball's gone out for... Well, the linesman's given a, a throw to Rangers. Goal kick, apparently. Left side throw for Rangers. The strange period of the game. Um, neither side really dominating. Lots of mistakes. One or two chances. Left side throw again for Rangers. Slowing the game down a little bit with about 35 gone here in the first half. But uh, the ball's been won back well by the the Alliance team and that's lost on that it is a very late challenge and that will be a caution and I think that's going to be Curran cuts a really long ball forward and headed away by Copswood but won back by Rangers and they've got the overlap a little bit on the right hand side Curran plays it through the middle but uh, ooh, Farrell just couldn't get onto that. So again, the uh, Coxwood strikers finding two or three players to get through, and uh, on this occasion they've given a, a free kick away, and that's just what Rangers want, I guess. Tackled by Chester's yet again on the number nine this time, and the ball runs out towards Turnbull. Down the line it goes, and this is dangerous again. That's well defended though, and the ball strikes the head. There has to be a chance, and it's in! The ball has fallen loose, and suddenly it's in the back of the net, and it's 3-0. So really have to try and get a goal back before the break. Probably about seven minutes, eight minutes left, and uh, three down is a long, long haul. Left foot free kick towards the right-hand side of the penalty box. 
possible shot from the edge of the penalty box and that's just gone wide and it's taken a deflection and it's a corner free kick for Copswood niggly for the last 15 minutes or so several free kicks given away by Rangers ball is clipped in rather smartly headed away well by Rangers nice little move down the line there and uh, Cops would still have the ball but two orange shirts converge immediately and Cops would have to start again nicely controlled by the uh, striker there and the ball's knocked away towards Farrell he uses his shoulder well and he gets away down that right hand flank he's got a bit of support from Curran behind him but the ball is put in low oh goodness me that ball has only just gone wide left side corner then for Rangers overcomes the trajectory and that's deflected mm. it's out for a, a goal kick I think it was Kurtz going for it at the near post throw then for Rangers moving into the last five minutes of this opening period still 3-0 ahead but uh, Copswood get that one away Yeah, that's well played by the uh, Copswood strikers between them. Good pace, good stretch. 15's away, but he's offside. And he's put it wide anyway with the offside free kick. Towards the left-hand flank and where Fag Bemi is. Ball won by Copswood. Again, the strikers dropping a little bit deeper and picking up the ball. That's a good call. A tremendous challenge by Alexander, but... Good control by Copswood. Nice left foot pass, but cut out by Turnbull. And that is half time with the score. Coventry Rangers 3, Copswood Coventry 0. And an awful lot to do for the Alliance team in the second period. So the second half is about to uh, begin here at uh, Allard Way with Copswood Coventry facing such an uphill climb. Back to the left hand side the ball goes. But Copswood have been forced back. Two strikers in each other's way really there. They have played very close together on occasions. Good header by Fag Bemi getting in very quickly there. Copswood making a break there, the two strikers working together. And this time the break is on. That's a really good tackle though. And Rangers survive that immediate danger. Once again, an orange shirt gets in the challenge. Referee didn't see that. As Farrell appeared to be nudged down. Ball is nudged forward and uh, Farrell chases it and I think he's going to get onto this. Oh, and he's taken out very badly there. Left side corner then for the Alliance team and desperate for something to cling on to here. Possible short, but that's been covered by one of the Rangers defenders. It's a left foot corner. There's a little glancing header, but it's gone across the penalty box. Upton does well to keep it in. Gets in a good cross as well. Goodness me, nobody seemed to be ready to touch that. Took a deflection there. So a second corner. In succession for Copswood Coventry. Again, left footed and again a near post header, but that's well wide. Maybe, but uh, the keeper's out doing well. Allen defending successfully. Turnbull battling for it. Ball is played out by Cotswood. Alexander jumps. And the, the Cotswood players have done well here. The uh, striker is away on the right hand side. Cuts inside. Plays it square. And the ball hits a post. 
very unfortunate there. Copswood Coventry could have been back in the game. And the break is on at the other end now. The ball is played through, but once again it's a free kick. Another deep free kick in this uh, slightly fractious second half. Certainly the uh, Copswood players deserve a goal here. They've looked dangerous on occasions. There's a shot and there's a deflection. And the player is offside. Throw then for Rangers after substitutions have been made by Copswood. They've got to try something. That's quite a stoppage. The injury to Gardner too. There's the throw and that ball has gone out for a corner. Right side corner for Rangers. Higher trajectory this time. There's the header and it's just gone wide from Kurtz. Wins the ball back to Gardner. And he gets fouled and it's a penalty to Rangers and this is going to be Farrell to try and get a hat-trick. So it's a penalty to Coventry Rangers. Connell Farrell. Left foot. Hammers it into the corner, and it's 4-0, and it's a hat-trick for the striker. Now then, in comes the... Left side corner for Copswood. Nasty one in front of goal, but somehow the, the Rangers defence has got it away. Doyle plays it down the left hand flank. Farrell will chase that as it goes through to Pierce. Now he's going to have to hit it long. Tackled by Doyle, plays it through towards Farrell, and Farrell shoots over the bar. Ball finds its way through for the Copswood strikers. They've got a chance here now. Oh, a superb challenge. And I think that was Chester's again. Well, he's pummeled out to the right. Oh, my goodness me, that's a complete hammer into. <laughs> I think it's Kutz who's gone down. Finds clearance. He's headed forward by Copswood. They've won it back again. Another free kick and yet another stoppage. So untidy to watch. Good running. little flick through. Strikers involved now, but they've given it away. Oh, Farrell nearly flicked that off to his uh, strike partner, Gardner, but Cops would have won it back. Nice play by the striker, and his shot goes straight to Allen. Lots of time to clear the ball as the moments tick away here at Allard Way. Rangers just almost coasting. Haven't had a great deal of possession in the last 15 minutes or so, but there they go, down the right-hand side. In comes the low cross. Goalkeeper has it. Coxwood again going square. Out to the left-hand side. Not really making any ground, not making any inroads. The, uh, the final creative pass seems to be missing too often. And once again, Rangers getting the challenge. The referee ignored the linesman's call there for the uh, throw in, but the cross went out of play anyway. Very strange. And hits the uh, goal kick. Uh, not a very good one, the uh, striker. Tries hard to get onto that, but it's uh, well defended. Cuts, I think, plays it long. 
The ball is knocked on towards Komaski, who's just come on a substitute. One back by Copswood. Positive run this time. Out to the right hand side. But uh, again, they've gone backwards and looking for that opening. That's a good challenge again by Rangers. They've managed to get away with it. Giving it away again, though. And there's the shot from the number 15, and it's well off target. Throw on the left-hand side in these final kind of irritating minutes. Not a great deal happening, and just Copswood playing for some kind of pride. Uh, strikers have looked dangerous when they have received the ball, but some of the uh, service they've had has been lacking quality, really. They've got another throw on the left-hand side. Can they get themselves a consolation goal here? And the ball's won by Rangers again. Cops would win it back. Little right foot ball. There's a header out towards the right hand side of the penalty box, and the referee has given a penalty. So here we go with the penalty. Slammed into the right side of the net, and it's 4 1. looking for a second goal now. Back they go to the number four who's had a decent game in midfield for the Alliance team and still they find their passes now. Out to the left hand side they go. Overcomes the cross headed away by Rangers. Rangers break and that's a free kick and that could be another booking, surely? Yep. There's the number 11 this time, I think. Free kick towards Doyle. Headed clear successfully by Copswood. Played out smartly by 12. Goes for the return pass and gets it. Slips it wide. Good move this by Copswood. Why didn't they do this earlier? And another free kick. Got to take it quickly, I think. Move the uh, viewfinder towards the goal here. In comes the cross. Up go the heads, and it bounces down to Allen. Coxwood again. Nudging the ball forward again. The, uh, Central striker is virtually back on the halfway line. Ball is hauled out to the left hand side. Forward Cops would go yet again. The striker bundles his way through, but the referee brings the game to an end. And Coventry Rangers go to the final of the Coventry Evening Telegraph Cup. 4 1 victory over their rivals, Copswood Coventry.